Welcome to your meditation practice. Make sure that you are sitting in the position that is very comfortable for you and cross your feet and hands. I invite you to close your eyes and take a deep relaxing breath, a deep inhale through your nose. Then open your mouth and exhale. And let that be the beginning of letting go kind of process. Begin to let go of the past that lingers through your thoughts, memories, and sometimes regrets. Let go of the future that keeps stealing your attention through worries, doubt, fear, anxiousness. Let yourself begin to bring your awareness to the now. It does not mean you will stop having thoughts. You will have thoughts as long as you have a body. Trying to stop your thoughts won't work. Your mind's function is to generate thoughts. Notice how those thoughts are always in time, meaning they may linger in the past or project in the future, or your thoughts may likely be analyzing, assessing, or judging the moment, what's happening, what's being said. That's still a dimension of time. Allow yourself to let all that be there is no need to resist what's actually happening. And as the old saying goes, what you resist, persists. See if you can create for yourself that right now, however you are, it is perfect. Your access to bringing your awareness in the now is not to resist or try to stop your thoughts, but to bring your attention on your breath. As you shift your attention in that area between your nose and upper lip and begin to observe your breath, notice that it is not possible to breathe in the past and it is not possible to breathe in the future. So you can only breathe now and then now and then now. Continue to keep your attention on your breath. There is another old saying that whatever you give your attention to grows, whether it's your garden, your children, your career, or your regrets, worries, and fears. Over the years, most of us learn to give our major attention to the conscious mind and the chatter of its little voice. We become lost in our thoughts, forgetting that any parts of us exist. However, we are much more than our conscious mind and what it thinks. We're also characterized by the richness and wisdom of our unconscious mind and its intuitions emotions, aspirations, beliefs, perceptions, not to mention our physical body. All of these parts of us are worthy of attention. Allow your body to breathe itself according to its own natural rhythm, slowly, easily, and deeply. Trust your body for it contains the wisdom of millions of years of evolution and it knows exactly how to relax if you allow it to. All you need to do is let go and focus on your breathing and on my voice and on the gentle suggestions of relaxation that I offer you. Invite the body to relax and release any tension that it does not need to hold right now. And just invite your legs to soften and relax and your hips and low back, your belly and the muscles up and down along your spine. Your chest is softening and relaxing. Invite the neck and shoulders to join in a deeper, more comfortable state of relaxation just releasing any tension that they can let go of right now. 
without worrying about how the body relaxes or how deeply you relax. Just letting it be an invitation to the body to be more comfortable, allowing that relaxation to flow down the arms to the tips of the fingers and thumbs. And as the body relaxes more deeply and comfortably, allowing the mind to become relatively quiet and still and yet very aware. Focusing inside and heading deeper into that inner world and letting the background sounds of the outer world be out there in the background of your awareness. They're not important to you right now. Continue to keep your attention on your breathing, heading to that deeper place of concentration where you can get in touch with the wisdom of your subconscious mind and learn or recall or perhaps discover something of value to you. Release the tiny muscles around your eyes allowing your face to become soft and at ease. Even your tongue and your jaw can just relax. Each time you inhale and exhale, you may be surprised to find yourself twice as relaxed as you were a moment before, twice as comfortable, twice as peaceful, for with each breath, every cell of your body becomes at ease. You're breathing deeply and slowly. As you allow your body to enjoy this nice state of deep, peaceful relaxation, I would like you to think in your mind's eye of a favorite, special, peaceful, quiet place. It might be a real or imaginary place. It may be one that you visited before or one that comes to you now. Doesn't really matter. As long as it's beautiful and peaceful and safe. A place that feels really good to be in. A place where you feel connected to the natural energies that are there. And just take some time to look around and see what you see in that quiet place today. Notice the colors and the shapes and the forms. Notice any sounds you might hear in that place. Any smells. And especially, notice the feelings of quiet and peacefulness. Connectedness that you feel in this place. And find the spot where you feel most centered and connected and make yourself comfortable there. And when you are ready, invite an image to form in your mind's eye for your ideal self. An image of yourself as you would most like to be. Welcome the image into your awareness. Welcome the image that comes. This image of the ideal you, the way you would like to be if you could be exactly how you want it to be. Notice how you look how you move, how you're dressed, how you seem to feel. And as you observe this image, get a sense of the essential qualities of this image that make it ideal. What are the qualities in this ideal self that you really value or appreciate And when you're ready, allow yourself to become that ideal self. As if you could step into the image and 
just notice what it's like. How does the world look through these eyes? As you become that ideal self, you're empowered and reconnected to your own inner wisdom. You're worthy of love and belonging. You are an original and not an imitation of someone else. You are creative in your own unique ways. In fact, now you cannot move, think, or even blink your eyes without setting creative energy into motion. You're meant to be progressive, innovative, inspiring, beautifying, all with practical benefits. Notice how it feels to be this ideal self. And notice where you feel those ideal qualities in your body. Allow those ideal qualities to spread through your body, radiating outward and filling your whole body. As you fully integrate with your ideal self, you experience being whole, perfect, and complete now. You are at peace now, and you have a deeper understanding that the journey of your growth is like a mountain with no top. You're meant to live on the creative edge of self-discovery and self-expression. You can hold this eagerness for more growth, healing, joy, success, love and abundance in your life. And you can equally accept yourself where you are now. You can acknowledge yourself. You acknowledge yourself because where you are now on your journey is a milestone that is the product of the choices that led you here and that were needed for your growth. Your hard work, your sacrifices, your willingness to take opportunities and take chances, your compromises, your strength, your resilience. And you are now exactly where you're supposed to be. All is well. Hold on to that peaceful feeling. Hold on to your inner wisdom. And then, when you're ready, slowly begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Come back to your body. Become aware of the chair or the surface you are sitting on. Become aware of the room you are in. Become aware of the outer world ready to continue on with the rest of your day. Today, don't just have a good day. Have a great day. Open your eyes when you're ready. Peace and blessings to you.